Welcome Rec Room players! In this video, we'll talk about the Look At Gizmo. The Look At points itself in the direction of the object or player it's following. It knows who or what to look at based on either object tags or player roles. The Look At has some basic uses, like making objects or characters in the world more interactive, or, for example, creating an automatic spotlight. But also, many of the Look At's uses are technical. They're often used to make control systems, animations, or simple NPCs. Let's talk about how to set up a Look At Gizmo. The first step is to find your Maker Pen. To do that, open up your watch and press the Backpack button where you'll find the Maker Pen. Press the Use button to spawn the Maker Pen in front of you. To find the Look At Gizmo, look at the top of your Maker Pen and press the Open Palette button. You can search for the Look At Gizmo using the search feature of the palette, or you can go to the Gadgets tab, press on the Gizmos filter, and find the Look At. Then use your Maker Pen to spawn one. First, we'll set up a Look At to follow an object. Let's follow the bouncing ball. I'm going to use this basketball, which I found under the Sports filter of the Props tab in the Maker Pen palette. For a simple Look At Gizmo setup, there are only two steps. First, we need to tell the look at what it should follow. Use the configure tool in your maker pen to open the configuration menu on the look at. On the first page, we see the option for tag to follow. This tag needs to match one of the tags on the basketball. So let's check to see which tags the basketball has. I can use the configure tool on the basketball to see its tags. All the props in the maker pen's prop menu have automatic tags that they already have when spawned. So the basketball already comes with the basketball tag. If we wanted, we could add a custom tag using the edit tags button. But let's keep it simple and just use the basketball tag. Now for the second step. The look at knows what it should be following, but we still need to turn it on. That's what this red pin is for. Use the Configure tool in your Maker Pen to change the number in the red bubble next to the pin. We call these numbers default values. If we set this value to 1, the look at will stay turned on. Now that the look at is switched on, it follows the basketball. Look at's also have an option to change between average and closest. This only matters when the look at has more than one thing it's trying to target. Closest means it looks at the closest target an average means it finds a point in the middle of all of the targets out there. Of course, gizmos don't do much good unless you attach some objects or gadgets to them. I'm going to have this wooden cutout of a player watch the basketball. We use the wire tool on your maker pen to connect things to gizmos. Just like with all gizmos, if you want an object to move with the look at gizmo, you need to connect it to the copper pin on top. Now the cutout will follow the basketball as I toss it around. One more quick note, the look at doesn't need to be turned on all the time. You can use circuits and gadgets to control whether it's turned on or off. For example, when I switch this toggle button on and off, the look at turns on and off too. You can find the toggle button by searching for it in your palette. Alright, here we are in this big open area with some bounce pads over there, and this is where we can talk about how to set up a look at that will follow a player instead of an object. The setup is almost the same as it was for following an object. The red on-off pin is configured with a 1 to keep the gizmo switched on. And this time I've attached this expertly crafted flying imp model to the look at so it'll be like an enemy watching a player. To change the look at gizmo so that it follows a player, go back into the configuration menu and look at target type. Push the button for player to switch the gizmo to player mode. You can see that this option panel changes when we do that and now it says player role. The big difference between following a player and following an object is that you need to tell the look at to follow a player role instead of following an object tag. You can check out other videos linked in the description to learn more about creating roles and giving roles to players. Let's quickly set up a role and the way to assign that role just to get an idea of how it works. I'm starting off in the gadgets tab and I'm going to go to game chips. On the second page I find the role chip. I spawn one of those and now I want to give it a custom name so that I know what it does. Because we've got an imp that's watching me, I'm going to call this imp target. Okay. 
Uh, I don't need to change any of the settings in the role. I just need to have it. I just needed to have the name, but I want to map it to myself. So back in game chips on the second page, I'm going to spawn a role mapper chip. Now this has got a couple couple different modes, so I'm going to configure this and change this to the add player role mode. Now I can use this to give this role to myself. Um, I can choose from the player roles that exist in this in this room. So I'm going to select imp target. So now I can use this chip to add this role to myself. And uh, the, the only thing I need to do in order to do that is I need to send my own player ID to this red pin. We can ignore the green pin for now. Uh, the best way to do that is to use a button prop. So going into the props menu, under dynamic props right here on the first page, I've got button. Okay. Um, there's a special configuration option for the button. If I go in here, I can see send player as, out, as signal output. Press that, and now, when I press this button, my player ID, which happens to be number one, is going to appear on the red pin. So I'm going to wire this red pin up to the roll mapper chip. When I press this button, the chip will give me the roll, and we can watch this in action. I'll just go into my watch menu to look at the roles available in this room. That's under this room, under settings tab, and then you go to the roles menu. Then if I tick this box to show only the roles that I have, we'll see when this one appears as I press this button. And there it is. Now that I have the role that the look at is following, it's going to move whenever I move. You can also find a setting in the configure menu that lets you choose whether the look at follows a player's left hand, right hand, both hands, or their head. This has all sorts of technical uses, but it's also just a lot of fun to play around with. That is how to use the look at gizmo. If this video was helpful, please give it a like, and be sure to subscribe to Rec Room for more tutorials and lots of fun videos.